Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at a Goto Kogaku ST6 Model 2. Um, and let me explain that. It's a little confusing. I'm not 100% not sure on, on that nomenclature, but I believe that's what it would be called. ST6 means school telescopes, uh, school telescope 6 centimeter, 60 millimeter. Well, this one was the original ST6, but on a, a modified equatorial mount. The original ST6 was apparently on some sort of an Altaz mount. I've, we've got pictures of that. Anyway, it's a fascinating telescope in many, uh, it's got many interesting things about it, and qu quirky, strange things. It's a GOTO, so it has super high quality. It's got one of the objectives that does not use spacers, so it's a edge contact kind of a, an objective. I'll show you a picture of that. This one has uh, features. The only thing I got with it was the mount, and this, uh, this is the only accessory, which is the solar viewing screen. Uh, these are <laughs> made of plastic. A lot of this thing on the Goto, the later, this later Goto is it's uh, somewhat cheap and some of this stuff, some of these parts here are plastic. The finder mount is plastic, the dew shield is plastic. So things have changed uh, since the 1960s or so when Goto made everything out of pretty much titanium, <laughs> uh, metal of, of some sort at least. Anyway, so uh, things are a little bit different. Uh, the mount is a very interesting and robust mount. I'll give you a closer look at that. Let's compare the ST6 with a couple of older GOTO telescopes. This one in the middle is a 60mm f20. It's a model 105. Dates probably from the 1960s or so, maybe 50s. And on the far end is one that's about the same era. A little hard to date these precisely. That's a GOTO high score model 451. It's on an Altaz mount. And the reason I wanted to show you this one in particular Despite the fact that it's a 60mm f20, which is a longer scope, it has an equatorial mount. And it's going to be very interesting to compare the equatorial mounts here. I think, um, despite the fact that these appear quite to be quite similar, let's point out some more differences. This structure here, this is metal. Um, this is all metal. The, the finder mount here is all metal. The housing is all metal, everything for the, for the um, objective. This, on this one, the ST6, plastic, plastic, plastic. It's all plastic, molded plastic. Uh, the knobs here are plastic. So everything here, these knobs are plastic. Everything here is much lighter weight. The finder, I, I think, is identical. It's metal. Other mounts. But look at this very strange offset. This is kind of bent at an angle here. Quite interesting. Traditional Goto finder. This thing here, this is designed for the rod. Rod here for the solar screens goes in there. And that's what that's all about. Very strange and interesting way of doing things. This is a more traditional Goto style finder mount. This thing has got a, a strange little dovetail, not like anything I've ever seen before with an angle and V's and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, it's a kind of a complicated little dovetail. Goes on like that. It works quite well. This finder is unusual because it's permanently attached with a couple of screws. This is plastic now. The finder is the same. It's a good old Goto finder. but. Okay, here we have the two mounts right next to each other. Got them as close as I could so that you can see them in a very direct comparison. Look at this thickness here and the thickness here. Quite different. Same thing here. Same thing there. Um, this is aluminum. This is steel, I presume. Cast steel, I think. Anyway, um, quite a different I difference in the way of constructing these things. Look at this down here. Really nice and big and strong. It's strong looking. It's probably not any stronger than this. This is aluminum, so uh, they're both very, very good, efficient mounts. 
but there's a huge difference in the whole overall philosophy of everything. Um, here is your, the gears here are internal, which, uh, and they're probably just about as big. Uh, I'm not sure what they look like. It might be fun, <laughs> fun to take them apart. I don't think I want to do that quite yet. <clears throat> so the big, the, the gear inside there is pretty nice and big. There's the slow motion knob here. Uh, this one has, of course, a nice rod on it. Here's the declination, and the declination here is a gear. Over here we have instead a tangent kind of a thing, which is really, really cool. I love it. Uh, look at this thing. Let me lock this down a little. Took the counterweights off, so it's a little out of, out of balance. Here's the way the declination, that's the declination lock right there. So that's a lock. And then here we have the declination slow motion. You can see this moving, I'm quite sure. Cool. Uh, compare this now with, uh, I have some pictures of a Swift. I think it's a model 831. Um, a Swift, similar kind of a deal, but uh, a different orientation. So, But it's a similar kind of a tangent drive. Take a look at that. Okay, here's the mechanism on a Swift model 831. This is the declination. There's the lock. You can see you lock it like so. And then, after you lock it down, you move it like so and you get this tangent motion here. Very similar to what's happening on the Goto, but at a 90 degree angle, it's just different. Different enough to be interesting. To me, anyway. <laughs> Here's a little side view of the Swift Model 831 mount. There's the lock. There's that. And I think you can see, if I move this, see how that's moving? Cool, huh? So that's the way it works on the Swift. Um, another thing I want you to notice is this interesting dovetail. And let me see if I can turn it around here so you can get a better look at it. It's got an odd ball configuration. You can see it's got a real steep thing here. It's essentially vertical on this side. So it's, um, it's kind of a, I'm not sure if it's still a dovetail, if it's only a dovetail on one side, but it works fine. And it's, uh, that's a whole different story on this Goto. I've never seen another dovetail quite like that. So that's interesting. Here's the lock for the right ascension, right ascension motion. Here's this thing. Let me show you that thing from the side profile, that whole thing. Um, here we have kind of what's going on with this. And of course this, you've got the interesting, well, you better do this and then do that so you can get it over here and mess, <laughs> mess around with it. <laughs> here, let me give you a look at this dovetail and how it works. Look at that strange shape there. Works fine though, and there it is. Easy. Look at this interesting latitude adjuster here. You see how you adjust the latitude? Goto's always have interesting. This has got two locking things on there, and then it goes this way, goes that way. Lower it down. It would be easier if I took the counterweight off. Anyway, then you lock it on down. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the Goto ST6 Model 2 from the 1970s or perhaps 1980s. Thank you very much for watching.